What is up guys, it's JD here from Gamazin, and welcome to episode 4 of our Rain Meter series. Today, we're going to be taking the Hello World skin we made in the last episode, and turning that into a launcher. After that, we'll be making our very own image launcher skin. If you haven't seen the whole series, click the little eye in the corner to check out the playlist. So without further ado, let's hop right into the tutorial. Go ahead and navigate to your Rain Meter skins folder, and find the folder we made last time. Open it, and make a copy of the INI file inside. Rename it to the program you want to make a launcher for. I'm going to be making a launcher for Notepad++, the text editor I use, which I fully recommend. Link to that's down below. Now that we've made that copy, open up the INI file we made last time. Before we add anything, we need to make some small revisions. First, change the text option to the program you're launching. For me, it's Notepad++. Now, add solid color equals 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. This will make an invisible box behind the text that we can click, so it's easier to select. Now for the meat of the skin, the mouse action. This is what tells Raymeter to launch the program you want it to launch. But to actually launch the program, we need a direct link to this. You find this the same way we did in the Honeycomb video. Search it in your programs, and make a shortcut to it in your desktop. Right click on the shortcut, click Properties, and copy the target. Now paste this next to the mouse action option we made. Now, if we save our work, open Raymeter and load in the skin, we should have our first working launcher skin. Go ahead and give it a click to make sure it works. Now, let's make an image that launches programs similar to Honeycomb or Circle Launcher. For my example, I'm going to be making one for Chrome. Head to your Raymeter skins folder and make a new TXT document named whatever you want. I'm calling mine Chrome Launcher. Now change it to an INI file like we did last episode. Add the Ray Meter section with update equals 1000 and make a new meter. Since we aren't using text, instead of meter equals string, add meter equals image. Add width and height options to dictate the size of the image. Just use 100 and 100 for now, you can fiddle with it later to get it just right. Next, let's set up the image link and point Raymeter at the right spot to find it. Go back to your skins folder, then to the hello world root folder. Make a folder here called resources, then one inside it called images. The resources folder contains all the images, sounds, fonts, etc. for all the skins in a root folder. Drop the image you want to use in here. Now let's head back to the image launcher file and add image name equals hashtag at hashtag images backslash your file name dot ping. Finally, add the left mouse up action option and use the method from before to get the target for this. Go ahead and head to Raymeter, hit refresh all, and load in your skin. Like before, go ahead and test it out. If you have any trouble with any of this, make sure you follow the video directions exactly. Once you've made sure, make a comment down below that like button, or make a post on reddit.com slash r slash Raymeter. If you want to take this at your own pace, or in a written format, the link to the script is down below. I will also have the INI files I made in this video in a nice folder for your downloading pleasure. Hope you guys enjoyed, see you next time, JD out. Bye!